You tell me, how does the sun hit that panel get turned into electricity? Give me like you. a. I can tell you. Come on, guess. Um, the panel gets really hot. No. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm um, listening. Sorry, sorry. Tell I asked you a question. Tell the me. The panel gets so hot. Hey everyone, here's an edited clip from a boy boy live stream. If you wanna catch these live, they stream three times a week on Twitch. Enjoy this highlight. I love this shit. I don't know if you got this on your feed. It was like, I've seen it every single day. Every fucking right wing account it was just like, haha, tricked the, um, the, the, the climate change deniers. Oh. A funny thing happened as the Washington Post tried to map out half a billion years of global temperatures and the disaster of global warming. Not really a disaster, is it? I mean, I've looked at this a lot. It's so fucking stupid, but let's see. Maybe you can, maybe you can dissect it for us. So. 485 million years ago, it was here, and we've gone, we've gone, whoop, 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 whoop crazy for eight ages. And then 25 million years ago, it started cooling, and just recently it's gone up. Yes. And it's like, is that such a big deal? Is what they're saying. They're yeah, saying, they're, they're saying, like, look at, they tried to map it, and they, they ended up proving that, like, the world's actually getting colder, and, like, also... Um, well, everyone, everyone knew that, I presume, is this the Ice Age? Well, dinosaurs got ex um, extinct... 65 million years ago yes so, so where's the, the ice age i think this is the ice age here. but weren't there weren't there woolly mammoths and sid the sloth and, and sid um, the sloth and, and these and, things in ice age and a baby yeah yeah so um which is recent that's the recent thing so this is the ice age so they're they're saying that guys the ice age happened which everyone knew about and there's been a lot of ice ages but also it's funny just to even have things like the extinction of the dinosaurs like the biggest mass killing event <laughs> ever and it, like and look at the gradient here look at how like little it's changed compared to this sharp thing like i we don't see anything this sharp anywhere no you do over here but which was probably like a, me a meteor hitting the surface you know i think this is sharper yeah it's crazy sharp but so is this one which happened di at the extinction of the dinosaurs <laughs> and it's it's it, it, yeah it's crazy but it's also funny we've had this without anything hitting us no this is just us fucking the, the environment it's just so funny they they're so brain dead that they look at this like see it's fine there these the fluctuations where like a million gigajillion species have been wiped out is normal so don't worry <laughs> it's fine if you actually look we're actually cooler than 485 million years ago and people were fine back then these <laughs> these guys these guys were fine we, we've lived through all of this guys yeah don't worry oh it's, my it's so god funny that look happens so much where it's like um looking at like horrible natural disasters and being like nah it's just a natural ecosystem you know where it's like everything reaches equilibrium and it's like yeah, yeah no, equilibrium would be us not being here anymore. yeah but also volcanoes exploding even though it's it's natural it's really really bad mm. so stop comparing it to that if we're recreating stuff that is like volcanoes spewing billions and billions of tons of ash into the atmosphere that's a bad thing <laughs> you're like <laughs> we'll reach equilibrium which is just like just such a what is it it's such an alienated view of like humankind because it's just like you're seeing us not as people you're kind of viewing yourself from the lens of like a million years in the future yeah and you're like don't worry something else might happen and also it's like i'm sure the earth would be better off without us here the problem is we are here we want to survive so it's like yeah. oh, that's hilarious because i've seen a lot of a lot of stuff like this i feel like elon musk share stuff like this yeah. although you think well, that's you... why i'm getting it i don't you think i follow these dickheads you follow zero hedge i don't get any of this i just keep getting climate denialism and holocaust denialism is a big one i get as well and it's just like i don't follow any of these accounts and they just keep giving me stuff few people realize that the humankind has developed only in the last dot of that timeline few people no people do realize that this says extinction of the dinosaurs <laughs> okay <laughs> would we survive under the same temperatures as dinosaurs earth for sure will survive but i don't think our civilization will I mean, I am all for bringing back these kinds of temperatures. Because, like, Why? bigger animals, bigger fish, you know? More oxygen. Is that what happened? More oxygen produces bigger insects. And you get more oxygen with heat? I don't know if that's true. Maybe more carbon dioxide. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know what will bring back the dinosaurs. or will make your dream come true. <laughs> bugs? Yeah, I want bigger lizards. I don't want bigger bugs. Well, bigger bugs is what the lizards, are, big lizards, gonna eat. Oh yeah, there we go. Bigger bugs means bigger lizards. Who's gonna eat those bugs? <laughs> but hey, look, this looks pretty bad. I yes. mean, not not to these guys, but it could actually be completely fine because China's gonna save us. Whoa! The rise of solar power. I knew this had something to do with China. 
I was like, where was China on this line? It was in the next article. It was in the next article. Um, this was 465 million years of Chinese history, and it's about to end. <laughs> um, the rise of solar panel power and China's staggering EV growth may have pushed global emissions into decline. Some, someone's suggesting that we're actually going to start going down by 2025, which is what we want. Down in what? In global emissions. Global emissions, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all because of all because of China. Well, because is that because China produces so much that if they change, they're yeah. such a big and no one else has to do anything. Well, I saw a hilarious article the other day that's slightly related to this. Do you know that the amount of trees on the earth recently in the last couple of years has actually started to go up? Team well, trees. Yep, team trees. It was Mr. Beast did all of it. No, it was actually Team G's. <laughs> <laughs> You wouldn't have uh, laughed at that joke if it wasn't about. Yeah. I don't, I'm not love China. They're just a very important country, so they come into the news all the time. Um, so yeah, so they've China. they've been planting heaps of trees. Cheese. Um, but it was Mr. Ba- Cheese. <laughs> Mr. Cheese. And but it was an article about how it's actually bad because the trees are in China. Yeah. And China w- might want to cut down those trees oh, in yes, the future. Oh yes, 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 yes. So. You should reforest somewhere like Brazil where they don't cut down all yeah, the trees. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh, God. What has actually happened? Uh, two major international climate agencies predict global emissions have reached a critical inflection point and 2024 could be the beginning of the decline. How? How do we know? Couldn't come soon enough as emissions are meant to peak before 2025. Gotcha. Gotcha. There was a lot going on here. Okay. So China does this much. Yeah. Europe does this much. The US does this much. China, they, look, you told they're, they're saying they pollute heaps. They're not Europe, doing shit. Europe pollutes more. Everyone pollutes more. CO2 and China's emissions. the only one taking fucking electronic, electric, whatever, renewables seriously. Yes. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Um, That's crazy that it's, um, Europe produces that much more. What's yeah, the whole not... population of Europe? <laughs> I don't know. Have a guess. I, I'd say, I'd say 450 a... million. No, I think more. I think 800 million. I said, oh. Whoa, that's pretty close. Good work. Yeah, but China has more people. Yeah. Yeah. And also China builds everyone else's things and they're mm. building it with fucking renewables. Yeah, that's why it's not fair as well to criticize yeah. one country. Well, because they like, built everything. Mongolia has so much pollution. Those Mongolians are crazy. It's like, yeah, because yeah, you get all our fucking biggest copper mine in the world is there. Yeah. It's like, okay. <laughs> fucking Poland. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, change to the Industrial Revolution is happening right now. COVID, we stopped. We stopped. We stopped polluting for a little bit. It's kind of funny. It's interesting to know we can do that. Um, I mean, how bad was COVID? Why don't we just lock ourselves in? Just lock we, ourselves we in. Twenty four seven. Be amazing. We'd have a bigger audience. This is a good idea. Oh, this was a cool thing. Um, last year, thirty percent of the world's electricity came from renewables, pushing out more and more fossil fuels. The the kind of, I've, I don't know if I can find the thing that, in this that I read before, but it was like right now places that aren't developed and they need electricity it's actually like cheaper and quicker to install uh renewables than it is to start up fossil fuels yeah i mean that yeah. makes sense yeah so it's like it's crazy so now like you know whatever sub-saharan africa or uh, random places where where you know you're electrifying these villages for the first time you just use solar and other shit yeah and it's just like it's so much cheaper and more straightforward well it makes sense because you can literally ship all the parts for solar yeah and then just create electricity somewhere. instead of having to build a whole fucking tower and then burn coal and yeah then and then ship all the coal around in. and yeah 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 that makes so a lot just, of it's sense it's pretty it's interesting that it's become more profitable just off the bat yeah with the technology say they're both commercially available scaling and in many instances cheaper than carbon intensive alternatives yeah that's crazy um but yeah it's not bad. I wanted to talk more about China's electric vehicles, but where is it? What is that? That's... At this point in history, Beijing. At this point in history, solar is unstoppable. Powerhouse is extremely cheap for starters. Over the past decade, we've seen a 90% reduction in the cost of buying solar modules. Why don't we get solar? What, on this house? Yeah. I don't like it. Why not? I don't, I don't want to think about it. It's too scary. I don't understand how it works. You tell me, how does the sun hit that panel and get turned into electricity? Give me like a. I can tell you. Come on, guess. Um, the panel gets really hot. No. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm listening. Sorry, sorry. Ask you a question. Tell me. The panel gets so hot. Yes. And then on top of the next to the hot bits of the panel is water, 
yeah and that boils and becomes steam and that turns a big turbine because <laughs> um, the steam you know the steam pushes through it it goes <laughs> well, i don't know how it works so it could be that yeah i don't think that's how solar works though what else happens if i synthesis if i had to guess I would say photosynthesis. <laughs> I would say they put lots of leaves in there, uh -huh. and then no, I think it. I think it happens because something. No, I got a better one. <laughs> what? Oh, you got a better one? Yeah. What? Okay, so each solar panel is full of rats. Yes. And um, the rats the get sun, hot. Yeah, the sun hits a bit of it, and the rats will try to run away from the hot bit, and they turn the wheel. That's cool. Yeah. I mean, you could do that with ants. Are they strong enough to turn a wheel? I don't think they really turn anything. Ants make the world go round. <laughs> Really? Yeah. They're in the center. <laughs> yeah, they're the ones running, making the earth. Where do you think turn? those holes go? Yeah, <laughs> they exactly. go into the control room. Um, <laughs> yeah, hot rats. <laughs> I think it works something like it gets the electrons get excited. Don't know what that means, and they try to move around. Right. I don't right, know. Right, but right. I, 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 what does that mean? Well, the movement is energy. Yeah, but what is that? I don't know. How are they moving? Where are they going? Well, they, they go into, they just bump and bump and bump against a thing. Yeah, that's crazy. How does that make sense? It's kind of like an engine. Who like discovered this? Which is the explosion. Sorry, I'm not, we're going to look this up. How do... No. How do... We're, we're not going to know this. We're all doing a little bit of... Absorbed by the PV cells in the panel. What does that this mean? It creates electrical charges that move in response to an internal electrical field in the cell. See? That's what I said. It's the rats. It's not the rats. PB cells... Same deals as photosynthesis. Quantum magic. I'm saying, how can you trust okay, this? Okay, 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 here we go. Light. No, you get, just, let's just read this. Okay. The sun gives off light, even on cloudy days. Very cool. The panels, PV cells on the panels, turn it into, turn the light into So they just skipped it. This is like Christians. You know, when they're like, where the universe come from, they're like, God, we were saying, how do solar panels work? They're just like, don't worry about it. The PV cells do everything. It's like, you didn't, didn't answer, cells. you didn't answer our question. So now I have to search how do PV cells work? Yeah, it's too hard. See, I'm saying this is why I don't trust solar. Something else is happening. Someone else. I reckon what we do is, when we install solar panels in our roof, the government just gives us power from the normal grid. And they, yeah. say, and they say, thank you for putting the solar... Thank oh, you shit. for putting those it's black, like for putting those black panels on your roof, guys. Black panels <laughs> are like hooked up to everything in your house. Yes, exactly. It's just a good... It, what it is, it's like a... It's like an inverse modem. It's just like, it just controls every single electronic thing in your house. Yep. Exactly. The government presses a button and your fucking blender will start blending you. I, I think that's true. No, I'm, I'm obviously joking. I don't actually believe it's a conspiracy theory. I just think it's amazing and beautiful. But... Look um, how cheap they are. I'm going to get solar panels right now. <laughs> For what? What are you going to buy? I don't know. Yourself? My, your my, computer? My ovulator dildo. My insemin... <laughs> my... What you're do gonna, you call it? You're going to recharge it. Um... Have you guys seen Molten Salt Towers? Of course. Um, Why not? I try not to look at them. Yeah, I try as well. They're so fucking cool. But well, we got should, them in Arizona. Should I make a mini one of those? Solar panels are a must in Syria. <laughs> They're good work. Molten. <laughs> They're so fucking cool. The thing is, I understand how this works. Yeah, it's just hot. The, it's it's just like hot. the hot rats. It's like, <laughs> this is the hot rats, but in real life. These are solar panels. These are just mirrors. But can you use them as solar panels that are also mirrors or no? I don't you think double, so. Double your trouble. Double no, because I think a mirror bouts a sudden array away. Solar panel wants to absorb. Um, hot salt. No one in chat. I like it that no one in chat has explained how solar panels work. So no one knows. Everyone, Everyone's in the dark here. This one makes so much more sense. But it also yeah. makes me feel like it's stupider then. Yeah. And so what? The salt melts. And why is that good for our energy? No, the salt hot. melts. Yeah. And drinks. the salt is hot. And then the hot salt is used to boil water, which then turns oh, a turbine. It's steam power. It's steam power. What the um, hell? What it the takes hell energy from the sun. Yeah, I understand that. I didn't. I don't know how. Look, in that you didn't answer. Solar solar pads use salt and turns it into yeah, glass. Yeah, we know that. Look up Dyson sphere. No, I remember having someone explain it, but I forgot. Look, I'm no, so said, sure. I think you're thinking of them getting excited. The yeah. electrons get excited. They're, they're trying to move around, around, and you just funnel them into a direction. Photos, photons knock out the electrons. See, <laughs> what does this all mean? Yeah. Uh, it heats up a substance that creates an electric field in the PV cell. That is what it already said. Yes. Solar panels actually steal energy from the sun. China is holding <laughs> the sun. <laughs> okay. When the PV semiconductor is exposed to light, it absorbs the light's energy and transfers it neg 
negatively charged particles in the material called electrons. This extra energy allows the electrons to flow through material as an electrical current. But the extra energy allows the electrons? Doesn't that mean you're taking away from the material? Wouldn't it have a, it a shelf life then? Run out? No, the electrons just move and then they come back. Oh, the I don't part. know. It does. Oh, okay. In the surface of the solar panel, knock them out of their orbit. That's cool. But how do the electrons get replaced by the sun's ones coming in? Right? Are they just constantly knocking? Knocking and moving. You know what I'm talking about? about? Yeah, I don't know. So one electron's in there, sun's coming in, bam, knocks this one down the wire. Oh, like this one stays in there and it just keeps banging down the wire. Keeps banging them down. That's okay. It's a flow like a river. That's great. But That's they, so smart. They do lose efficiency over time. Okay. That's pretty cool. Well, maybe I support solar panels now. Well, can't you? You can maybe just clean them. Yeah, give him a rub yeah. down. Hey everyone, here's an edited clip from a boy boy live stream. If you want to catch these live, they stream three times a week on Twitch. Enjoy this highlight.